Lunar Rover Challenge, where we control a rover that's in a facility like a moon-like facility in Stratford, where we uh, try to control the rover and try to see if we can find ice. Students at Lisgar Middle School in Mississauga are among thousands from across the country who got the chance to experience what it's like to remotely control a lunar rover. Being an educator and being able to inspire students to do uh, amazing things in the world and solve problems and, you know, um, it is everything that we are. Canadensis is sending a rover to the moon in the next coming years and so now the students are a part of that future history. They already know that there are so many pathways to get into space exploration or engineering or science in general um, that now that's all become available to them and the excitement grows because they were able to be a part of it on the early Stages. The challenge was put on by Let's Talk Science, which is a national charitable organization committed to inspiring and empowering children and youth of all ages in Canada to develop the skills they need to participate and thrive in STEM. To make it to this point, students from across Canada sent in pitches mapping out mission plans to operate a rover in a lunar-like environment. All of the participants chosen are high schools except Lisgar, which was the only elementary school selected. In a short time, staff have seen the benefits of unique learning such as this. When students love what they're doing and they're inspired and they can apply it and they see the benefit, they are 100% engaged. And that's usually what we need to find, is find ways to find, to find what students love and engage them and make sure that they're comfortable doing what they're doing. Once they are, then they go 100% and they'll give it their all. The simulation was realistic to the point where stations were set up and students were matched with aerospace professionals to carry out certain tasks. Some students drove the rover while others tracked the temperature. We have to be very collaborative and we have to use correct communication because sometimes if we communicate the wrong thing, then something would happen like maybe the rover would get stuck in craters or um, our, satel um, our satellite for getting orbital images doesn't work and then we're stuck with a problem. The competition was offered at no cost and all 10 provinces and students from Nunavut and Northwest Territories participated. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.